We have a question here from Stevie. If a person leaves, how do you remove their calendar events or does disabling slash deleting the account automatically achieve this? Great question, Stevie. There's a couple of parts to how I'd like to answer this question. Number one is anytime someone leaves, you need to have a good offboarding process. And I've got other videos that I've created on how to create a great offboarding process. And if you're interested in coming along to one of our basics boot camps, onboarding and offboarding staff is specifically something that we cover to help you get that right. Now, one of the things you want to do immediately when a team member leaves is to suspend their account and you can go into their account and actually log them out of all devices, which is going to make sure that none of their devices devices still have access to any resources inside their account. Now that process is pretty straightforward. We're gonna go first to the admin panel. We're gonna go to admin.google.com. We're gonna sign in with our account. And from there, we're gonna go to the users menu and you're gonna take that person's account and you're gonna hit suspend. Now suspending that user, as it says here in the warning, license fees still apply it's still gonna basically cost to keep that user there because the next step is we're going to ideally migrate their data out of that account so you can keep it for safe storage. And what do we do with that in IT Genius? Well, in our account, you can see here, we've got one big account and we call it IT Genius Archive. And what we do is we actually put everybody's old email, files, calendar events, everything, the whole lot into that IT Genius Archive. Now, we use specialized migration tools for that, and we do that for free for our concierge members. So if you're interested in joining concierge, this is the kind of thing where you can just message our team and have us do it for you. But let me show you what the end result looks like when you migrate everything into one account. So basically what we're going to be doing is then delegating that account using the mailbox delegation feature back to the business owner or anyone else who may need access to that account. And so inside my Gmail, go to my delegated mailboxes and open up the IT Genius archive. And that's gonna show me all of the history of every one of my employees all in one place. So in here, I can see we've got a whole big list of employees that have in the past moved on from the company. And then each one of those basically has a whole bunch of subfolders with all of their data. Now. You can see here, if you look closely, we have 542 gigabytes of data being consumed currently. So that's quite a lot of data with all of our past employees. There's probably about 10 years of data in there. But what happens with calendars when you're actually managing your way through somebody's old previous calendar events is a two-step process. And so the first step is when you suspend somebody's account, it's actually going to keep their calendar entries still active inside your Google Calendar. You will still see that they're on the events inside Google Calendar. However, when you actually then migrate all of the data out of their account and you delete their account, they're gonna disappear from Calendar. They're no longer gonna be attached to any of the events. Now, if they are the owner of specific events and those events are recurring events, then those events may actually disappear from others' calendars if you haven't migrated them across to a new owner. So that's why it's important to you know, look into the migration process. But what also is important there is when you're creating group-based events for your teams, instead of having one person as the owner of recurring events, personally, I like to make a group for the team that they are specifically related to, and then I will actually share recurring calendar events with a group and have them owned by a group as well. And so that means that if someone leaves the company, which inevitably happens from time to time, you don't lose all of those team-based recurring events with that person when they actually leave the company. So what does that look like inside Google Calendar? Well, let's jump into my Google Calendar here and I'm gonna go ahead and open up, let's go to next week and open up some of my marketing events. And so in my marketing events, you can see here that we've got our growth hacking meeting. And if I was to open up the blue one, this is the one that appears on my calendar. I can see the agenda, I can see who's been invited here. There's a specific number of people from our marketing team who've been invited to come along to this. But I'm not actually the owner of this event. The owner of this event is actually this yellow one here. And so the yellow calendar here, if I go in and edit the event, it's actually sitting on a calendar that is called the D2 Attract Calendar. And that's basically the name for our marketing team. We call them the Attract Team. And so we do recurring events on a calendar that is shared with the team. And when it's done on a team shared calendar, it means that yes, it's gonna show up 
twice on my account because I'm gonna see the team event, but I'm also gonna see my personal invite there as well. But it means that if Peter disappears or if anyone else disappears on the team, then it's automatically still going to be shared and the event carries on and continues on. Now you can make as many of these as you like. You know, I can even hide the marketing calendar if I want just by unclicking that. You can see that on the left-hand side here, I've got different calendars, different you know people and different areas of the business and I can show or hide any of those as I wish. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.